Am I audible? Yeah. So before I get into the presentation, I have some confessions to make. And I also need to know if anyone has built a UPA app in this crowd. No one. That's good. <laughs> now I want to know how much I can dramatize this whole app, right? So if there are people who understand how UPA works, right, I am limited by my words. Okay. Uh, so now to the confessions. So. Uh, I am attending an ERP Next conference for the first time. And for that matter, uh, I am actually meeting ERP Next people for the first time. The only people I have seen from ERP Next are the people who works with me. Uh, I run a company in Bangalore and we have been uh, working on open source for very long, but we were in a different ecosystem. We are working on uh, Drupal, uh, which is a CMS, which shares a lot of same values when it comes to Frappage's op open source and the community is similar. And, it has somewhat similar uh, patterns when it comes to Frappe, right? So uh, the whole story boils down to the company called First You. It's a India, India cursed and first check backed startup, which was into uh, automobile, car service, subscription and all. And we were completely stuck with Odo by trying to implement uh, subscription management for them. And that's how, uh, so I have been coding since sixth standard. So I started searching for some solution to replace Odo and because it was a big pain for us. And that's how we stumbled upon Odo and then uh, I trained a team in-house and it's been like two and a half years now. So we did an implementation for them and, uh, and we are not going to talk about that implementation. Fast forward, uh, COVID happened and uh, the company went out of business. There was, there was no more cars on the street. There was no subscriptions for uh, service and they had to raise fund. And they decided to come up with a fuel cashback program and they wanted to build a, uh, they wanted to quickly build an app that can be used for uh, paying for fuel and that can give cashback, right? Uh, that's when we have already worked on uh, Frappe framework and this is not working. Yeah. Uh, and we had some experience with Frappe and we had experience with Drupal and, uh, and few other frameworks. And the timeline given to us was very impossible. Like they said, we had to either shut down the company or you have to build us at least an MVP of a payment app so we can present and raise fund. And they also wanted to do the Robin Hood thing. They wanted to put a waiting list out there and try to garner some traction and see some people onboarded for that uh, who are in the waiting list. So they wanted to show the investor we have an app ready and we have some people waiting to use the app. Now we need your funds to launch the app, right? So uh, this is the story of the second app which we built uh, and which is a payment app similar to PhonePay and all. Uh, so obviously we had already experienced what Frappe is and we know how fast you can build uh, backends on Frappe and we know its capabilities in terms of uh, managing finances. So that's when we shortlisted Frappe for the uh, development and it, wa it was a very uh, tiring sprint. We had very limited time and we had to work day and night. The founders was directly working with us and it was a remote time. Like uh, it, COVID has happened and the team is everywhere and many people don't have uh, backup, proper internet connection. It was just the early time of COVID. No one was prepared for it, right? So uh, well, I'll just walk you through the process and how much time each took and how we went through it. So uh, first we went ahead with uh, wireframing and prototyping to understand what uh, we, are, we are trying to build. So the app had a payment interface, it had some badges that they will get which they can redeem for using for services and all. So uh, the whole process we went ahead and did wireframing, we did uh, a design system, typography, UI and all those things uh, was done in four days uh, by a team of two designers with the founder sitting on the head and we were able to pull this off in four days. And then uh, we took two days to build the backend on Frappe, uh, plus API integrations and all those things. And you know you don't have to build much, right? When it, especially in this case, we did not have to build much. Most of the standard APIs were used. We used the OAuth system within the app, and then we extended it to have a OTP-based authentication. Uh, we did not have to build much. Few custom doc types, uh, few screens here and there, and uh, the backend was ready. Then we moved uh, to UPA specification. 
right? And that's where we completely got stuck. Like uh, we did not have proper standardization. Uh, we were trying to build something on top of indent flow. Uh, that's something you have seen. Like when you click, you move on to the other payment app and make payment and come back to our app. That's what the plan was with the MVP. Then we stumbled upon something, some QR codes were not working and then we figured out there's something called Bharat QR which is not exactly UPI. And then etc etc after a lot of things we fell back to using Razorpay. We implemented a two-way integration with Razorpay UPI app. So we implemented a UPI uh, gateway of Razorpay for payment and also uh, Razorpay payout API for paying back to the customer cash back. So, which basically means the investor gets two hits. They are charged for the payment, then they're charged again for the cash back. But for MVP, that is fine, right? We could, uh, uh, so the whole idea was to collaborate with some UPI uh, company which already have UPI license. And we got help from the community, a company called Kali J, which is into, uh, I think, uh, money splitting and all among students. They helped us with the UPI specifications. And finally, we built uh, uh, the UPI application. So these four screens, we had around 40 plus screens, but these four screens are the one which took the most uh, time to build. Uh, this is the QR code scanning and the payment and how the whole payment flow works. So uh, until then, we always used to, you know, uh, Rand about Frappe doesn't have documentation. How do you, anyone build anything? We had to go into the source code and all those things when we started. Then, then we stumbled upon UPI and then we were like, oh, Frappe is like heaven, right? Because we have, at least you can go and read source code. And in source code, you have very beautiful pieces of comments. Uh, the favorite one is for me is about the apostrophe, the F apostrophe word that you see in the chat code in Frappe, right? So you see a lot of tiny bits of, uh, different uh, developers sharing their thoughts in the comments of the code and it's very easy to understand the code. Uh, so the whole thing that we discovered was like, it's, uh, we registered our company in 2012 and I started off from college in 2010. Uh, throughout last 12 years of my career, I have never delivered an app of this complexity in this short period. And I'm damn sure that's, only possible because of what you can do with Frappe, right? <laughs> and I think I, I forgot to make the confessions, <laughs> which I promised in the beginning. So, uh, as I said, I have not met anyone from uh, Frappe or ERP Next uh, till date. I do post sometime in the uh, group and sometime in the forum and all, and back in my office, our Mehta and all our goats, right? So people have uh, like a leaderboard where they'll say, okay, how many likes from our Mehta have you got on your post, right? So you have a leaderboard saying, okay, this guy got 10, this guy got four. So like today I was like standing from distance and watching, okay, <laughs> this is that person, right? And like he was like a regular guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> I really did not expect him to be a regular guy. You know, the kind of blog post he put out there, right? Uh, all the philosophy and all those things. And like, he was like, I was drinking coffee today and I was thinking about making democracy in my company. These are the things you read. <laughs> right, but yeah. Uh, but I'm a big fan of what he has done. I'm a big fan of Rappe. Uh, till date, I was, a, I was uh, a hardcore Drupal guy. But somehow half of my company has moved to Frappe now. Uh, we are only working with certain non-profit people who need uh, enterprise CMS on uh, Drupal. Everyone else will come with some requirement and we'll push them to Frappe. That's what's happening right now. Thank you.